Welcome to Dom Sketchcast. If you've never been here in any of my previous forms, I'm Dom. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to see you. If you're watching me on YouTube or or TikTok or IG, it's nice to hear you and be be in your ears if you're simply just listening on uh, Spotify or whatever wherever. Today I'm just going to be drawing. Um, focusing on guanine, which is part of a, a base pair that creates DNA. Gonna have some ambient noises, and I'm gonna be talking occasionally. Mostly just drawing. Today I'm using one of my moleskin sketchbooks. This one in particular is from COVID Land. It's from Deep in the Pandemic. During the quarantine specifically when I was probably at my kookiest, when I was cooped up and uh, there was no vaccine in sight, I was doing a lot of, doing a lot of biological research and like half finished a biology course that I found online and learned so much that really opened my eyes and I guess in some ways it, it brought me it brought me some level of comfort to know that there is some some sense of rhyme and reason to how our bodies work. I want to say shout out to everyone on the Discord right now. If you want to link to the Discord, that's in the comments below. The folks on the Discord are a bunch of really cool like-minded individuals who create art uh talk about twin peaks and the weather and uh we post our art on there and have conversations about art it's a fun place it's a good way to keep up with what i'm doing also Also, I'm doing a sale in the month of April, potentially into into May, seeing how it goes. I'm doing a sale where I'll be selling new prints, new apparel, new originals, new phone wallpapers, all on DomRabbon.com slash shop. You can go on there. It's a great way to support me. Put some money in my pocket. Put some moolah in my pocket. You know what I mean? Get something cool for your wall. Some art to put on your body. Before you ask, I already have the answer, okay? It's plus, plus one conceptualization on all of my on all of my uh, apparel or clothing that you might buy. You're going to get plus one conceptualization. And if you really want to know what stats are going to be boosted or, or hindered, just go on DomRabbon.com slash shop and take a look at my wares.
earlier my neighbors were, were blasting go-go music blasting it my neighbors were blasting go-go music like uh like Immortan Joe from <laughs> from <laughs> uh Mad Max Fury Road there's that like boombox vehicle where the guy is uh The guy is suspended. This is not Guanine. Whatever I'm drawing is actually super not Guanine. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck this is. It's okay though. We can adjust that. This is just a beautiful, like I, I love the texture of this, of this yellow. And I don't even know how I really did that. It's been a while. My goal right now is to adjust that. Uh, adjust this thing and perhaps it's also going to make it look a little um a little artsy because that's what we're doing right so we're creating you know portions of this work Portions of this are correct. We're just going to lay this on very thick. Get that thing covered. <laughs> so as I'm repairing this guanine I like these faded, like burnt out markings right here that look like uh, they may have transferred from the wax that I put on this other page. And uh, while I'm waiting for this to dry a little bit, I guess I can talk about some of this other stuff, which was done on uh, February 7th, 2021. 
one, according to this. So that was two years. Wait, that was <laughs> actually I think it was twenty twenty <laughs> when this was made. Uh, it it doesn't have a. Um... Yeah, I think this was twenty twenty. I really, really do. Yeah, this is twenty twenty. Um, holy shit, what a fucking year. At this point, I was doing a lot of, uh, like, compartmentalization of my, of my, I don't know, my thoughts and my ideas, and I, I guess my identity was, it felt like it was being fractured, and I was dealing with a lot of, um, Probably the same, the same stuff that everyone was dealing with, you know, just anxiety, stress, a um, little bit of a sprinkle of depression in there from from being inside all fucking day. Yeah, so I was going through all these these mental feelings, like everyone was going through, and I assume like you were probably going through as well. Um, but in addition to that, I think. Something that was really difficult for me was the fact that I'm also contending with coming from like a, I was raised in a, a, a Christian cult. I was raised in a doomsday cult. And part of what happens when you're in a cult is you're told not to do things. You're told what is what is good to do and what is what is bad and you'll be punished and i think i think that created a really bold like potent mixture in my in my head for i think it was a recipe for like, mental isolation along with physical isolation um i'm an extrovert and when i'm looking back on what 2020 was like for me i was really I was really just separating myself from from everything that was going on in a way that I I now see is was really unhealthy and kind of an expression of an expression of feeling like I couldn't interact with friends or family or like I wasn't allowed to somehow. I guess allowed is like a better word to describe how I how I felt or what I felt I couldn't do. So all of these characters came out of, pretty much came out of that. They came out of different aspect of how I, how I was feeling, how I wanted to feel, what I was allowed to do according to uh, government and public health standards. Versus what I wish I could do. Um, and I'm not saying that all of these. All of these characters and, and boxes you see came from that. But that was a. That was a major component. And you can see like I was like. I guess psychologically like compartmentalizing these. These these characters and superheroes and beings. Like Don Macabre, Driver 88, Tet Rouge. Um, Spider Queen. And Dr. LaSalle. And these two characters, these two characters show up in, um, in my novel that I'm working on, my graphic novel, which you all will be hearing about when it's, when it's more complete. It's, it's in the, like, I've been working on this thing diligently pretty much since October, 2020. Um, and I've been, I've been talking to people about it and something's happening. You know, it's pretty exciting. And these characters also showed up in uh, Dr. LaSalle, The Spider Queen and Me, which is a, a multimedia art piece that I put in this Phillips Collection show called Inside, Outside, Upside Down. And I won first place for that, which was fucking cool. Very surreal experience. Yeah, but this was prior to me winning that thing prior to me 
honestly talking about this at all publicly. So, um, you can actually see an image of that on my, on my site. The full video is not available on my site. It's, um, it's super, it's still super raw for me. I don't know if I'll be willing to, it's going to take me a while to want to post that thing publicly. Um, super raw, super emotional, super deep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much the origin of those characters. And with this Rothko, I don't know why I was thinking about Rothko at the time. Learning a little more about that fella. Um, I think <laughs> I remember now. I had this I had this idea to basically do like to use like this supernatural brain forest technology, um, which I'll talk a little bit more about later when it gets to the, the when I plug the Patreon. But um I had this idea of uh, a piece of equipment that would allow me to talk to dead artists and which is kind of implying that like I I am one of them like I belong in this in this pantheon of dead artists that give people advice from beyond the grave or something like that um so yeah more more thoughts about death Death driven art. Okay, this is a good this is a good base for what I what I want to do. I'm just gonna mix this water. I'm gonna gross out most of you. <laughs> gross out most of you by, by making swishing sounds. That's the sound of me cleaning off my brush. So we're going to wait for this to dry a little bit and then continue. <sighs> While we wait for this to dry. Literally waiting for paint to dry. I'm going to tell you all about my live draws, which I do... Uh, Every Thursday, 7 to 8.30 p.m. On Twitch primarily, but also on YouTube if we do not get kicked off. I do live draws on Twitch where I draw live to music. Sometimes I play cyberpunk and get my ass kicked as well. It's very fun. I want to shout out to all you regulars who show up on there. It's cool and it feels good to be back. Um, and I hope to see you there. Thursday, 7 p.m. Be there. As things are opening back up, um, I've been illustrating to musicians playing live music in real life, which is, um, I'm finding it to be a, a super huge like passion of mine, and it's just, it's right where I want to be. I, I love being the person on the side of the stage controlling what the crowd sees and sort of amplifying the music visually for the crowd. And speaking of Brain Forest, I wanted to tell you a little more about Brain Forest and this alternate dimension that I've been creating inside of my art that I think you'd be interested in. I've been generating something that in my mind, I guess I call it the realm of endings. It's this supernatural part of my art world that I'm building out. And I'm going to be posting videos about that on Patreon. In addition to art advice, blogs, clips, that sort of thing. But I'm I'm doing something that's partially like experimentation and testing testing something out new for you all to, to look at. And Brain Forest is if you're familiar at all with uh, Stephen King's Dark Tower series, it's it's almost like North Central Positronics. Brain Forest will also show up in my graphic novel that I told you about earlier. So if you want to be up on all that stuff be part of the whole pantheon and see what's going on there patreon.com slash dom rabrun it's a great way to do that yes
Yeah, this this G is is pretty much gonna go hand in hand with this. This G is very obviously um, guanine, and I made this out of uh, some canvas paper that I loaded down with acrylic and then a paint stick and then used some um, adhesive household mesh that I got from Home Depot because I'm repairing my, my house. Um, always repairing shit. Shit's always breaking. But yeah, these two are going to be hand in hand. Let me see how dry this is. Not really dry at all. Okay. But we're still going to draw on it. Fuck it. Whatever. Do whatever the fuck I want. I'm going to try, try with my left hand, which is another recent, recent pleasure. Left-handed drawing. Okay, and then we're going to get the double hydrogen and nitrogen here. H2N1. Is that like a... H2N1 is a, is a, it's either a flu or a visa. Maybe both. It's a, it's a flu that you get in order to be able to travel into a country. It's a very, it's like an acquired, an acquired flu. And so instead of getting a flu shot, you get the virus and that's what lets you uh, travel. Two hydrogen, two hydrogen, and a, and a nitrogen virus. We got a double bonded oxygen here. Double bonded oxygen. This thing is almost, uh, this thing is almost good. Let's do that. Double pencil proficiency. Right now I'm using Prismacolor pencils which are my favorite. Um, if you want, if you want some of those, if you want to know what I'm using to draw, all my materials are in the show notes below. Everything you want to know is in the show notes below. The answer to life is in the show notes below. I'll answer all your questions. Yeah. Okay. That's a, that's a, you know what this is, is, um, it's similar to, this is like my version of, of nude descending a staircase, except it's like naked ass, naked guanine descending a staircase instead. Nude guanine descending, uh, an old... 2021 sketchbook. Yeah, that'll work. So yeah, let's get a little bit of these this green on here. I think it's cute. It looks kind of nice. And this uh, this guanine is looking for its base pair partner. At this moment. Is searching like uh, like Star Trek Voyager on on UPN. 